Good evening, everyone. Uh, just got out in from being out and about, which, uh, comes, you know, that one would follow the other, right? Um, today, today was a little bit of a lazy day. Yesterday was such an adventure that I felt I needed to balance that out a little bit. And I stayed in. Mostly, I played a lot on the computer. I got some stuff done for the thesis. I got a lot of emails written. And about, well, I think, 3, 30, 4 o'clock, I began to crave human contact. And so I decided to go to Starbucks. Uh, on, my, on my way, I, uh, well, with the plan also to go to the grocery store because I was officially out of food. I mean, we've got a couple of energy bars left and some instant espresso, but that's all we've got in this apartment right now. And uh, I really felt the need for some, some cereal, possibly some milk. So uh, so I planned to do that. I ran into Mike, who's also on the trip with us, who consented to come to Starbucks with me. And we had a nice conversation. Uh, I also I worked a little bit at Starbucks as well, smiled at a few people. My cup cracked, and at one point they needed to take it over to the lady because, you know, I mean, the coffee was, it was a mess. Interestingly, uh, they don't do the paper cups like we do in Nebraska. Like, if you're staying there for a coffee, in Omaha, they will always give you a paper, no matter what. But these guys, you know, they're dedicated to saving the environment or something. They, uh, they have cups that they wash, and uh, these... These Starbucks cups are huge, uh, and they're not like the great big round types either. I'm always afraid those are going to fall over. No, it's a huge, sturdy coffee mug, and I just, I just love them. So at any rate, um, worked a little while, had a cup of coffee, had a nice piece of carrot cake, and then I was invited to go over to Westdot, which is uh, the, the dorm that some of the other boys are staying at. I think three of the boys are over there. I'd never been there. It's actually so far out that uh, walking is preventative, and I had never had a reason to go. So, uh, but they invited me for tacos. So, uh, so Mike and I went down to join them for tacos. Now, tacos in Braunschweig, uh, you know, it's. Mexican food, as I have already explained, is kind of an experience. So, there's really no no Mexican food here and uh, I mean it's so so yeah I haven't even tr attempted Mexican because every time I read one of their you know some of their ingredients I and somebody translates them for me I giggle a little bit so uh, we decided tacos were good and cheap and you know easy to make so went over there for tacos it was an interesting experience they have a little bit different room setup than I have uh, they have like uh, four bedrooms like with a locking door and then kind of a central kitchen area and a couch so uh we we settled to uh taco making task uh which was uh, a lot of fun uh we borrowed things from people uh that was great uh, i had a good conversation with Bo, uh and uh and so that was all very nice uh and then we streamed a soccer game which uh, was very interesting, but uh, you know, I left it about a half an hour in. I figured I had some work to do back here, so and it was getting to be about nine. So, so yeah, I mean, there you have it. That's uh, it's kind of the day. It was a good day, certainly. Uh, got a lot done tomorrow. Um, you know, who knows what holds tomorrow? For certain, there's a class. For certain, I'm going to Skype with Dr. Wolcott at some point. So those are my certain things that are going on. Probably a lot of questionable things will go on as well. And I'll report to you tomorrow night. All right now.